Hello and welcome to my channel. It's good to be back. Apologies, I have been unwell for some time, so I needed really to take a break from the readings. I hope you all doing well. This is another celebrity reading and we're going to do um, ex-American President Donald Trump reading. I find this quite interesting time for him, especially that he, now, you know, the the findings coming out that he um, was involved in sexual um, case, uh, abuse, and um, back in 90s. I think, you know, you all have your own views. I'm not going to start here to project any uh, opinions or anything like this, but it's just for me is fine quite funny that for the last couple of years really he has been sort of um, in the spotlight not you know through the best angle and I had a look in his astrology so very briefly we'll go through his key planets so he's a Gemini sun but his ascendant is Leo um, not surprised, uh, someone who has an ascendant in Leo always will be very, of course not always, but the tendencies of characteristics will be very much that they can come across as a very arrogant, very, I would say, uh, selfish, really looking only after their own needs, but it's a le uh, leader stray, right? To, to be born with um, Leo ascendant also, it is 29 degrees, which is a very, very potent degree. And if you will look into astrology, the sign that has the zero degree, sort of the, the zero up to two degrees or 27, 29, that is a very, very profound degree, which obviously intensifies the qualities of that sign. Now, when we are looking into his moon, he is a Sagittarius. Sagittarius is, is always will have his own philosophy, will be a teacher, will be, you know, striking ahead, will be sort of wanting to be independent, wanting to be um, a teacher, you know, um, as the, the qualities of this sign. Now, when it comes to his Venus, um, Venus is in Cancer. So he is a very protective about his family. He is very protective about his home, uh, homeland. I think, you know, it's very important to, to bring that in, in the scene when we are talking when he was the president. And obviously, he decided, you know, to do that uh, wall to separating and making sure that the migration issue will be sort of, you know, prevented. So it's kind of like, really, if you look, you know, from one side, um, whether that was good or not, you know, we all have our own opinions. But what I'm trying to say through the astrological angle, we see that there are the patterns and the traits where obviously, you know, shows his action. Anyway, so that's enough about um, astrology and what he is like astrologically. I also just want to bring the last point, MC. MC always speaks about the career is in Taurus. In Taurus, we have the North Node. It will be changing um, the nodes in, in July. Um, I'm not surprised why he's going through so many difficult situations when it comes to his uh, profession, career, image. It's it, it's being challenging and people will challenge him at least until July. But I think, you know, the road will get smoother once the notes will be um, changed in July. So I want just to give a brief sort of view what is happening um, energetically in Donald Trump's... Uh, let's say, world. We obviously know what we know, what is projected by the media, but we, we can obviously look closer and see if we can get any um, extra insights in terms, you know, his personal life, his, his environment, people that he's dealing, who he can trust, who he can't. 
so i just pull five cards the overall card is the sun i think it's very much representing this leo ascendant that he is born under so nevertheless whatever is going on he i don't think that he is very much bothered um about all you know people who who are involved in let's say taking him through the legal action or you know making his life difficult he is very positive individual he he will not going to, you know to get upset even if it is the most challenging things i think in life he has seen quite a lot of hardships and that sort of made his spirit very very strong so you know nevertheless whatever is coming he has this positivity about himself and about his life let's pull the clarifier the devil okay so devil is very much you know saying that be careful especially because it's represented by capricorn sign it is the devil card always is the capricorn and when it is capricorn i always see um be careful when it comes you know to your career your life um you know where are you focusing what you are doing don't fall in those you know unhealthy toxic uh, let's say behaviors patterns that you maybe learned and not in the past that it's not really you know good and not working don't go you know back into something something that it might be unhealthy also i'm i'm seeing the sun and and the devil it's like a sun shining the the light on the things that maybe in the past was quite dark maybe it's actually bringing back in donald's life you know things that he wanted you know to hide and it brings into the sort of you know scenery into the surface into the public see what has happened so he has to go through that cleansing he has to go and show maybe i wasn't you know the best and i haven't done you know the best things but if he is feeling sorry for his action if he is feeling like i am responsible for the bad moves and you know i i want you know to to do good then we will see you know a very different energetical let's say um actions forward so it's about really how he feels and wh whether he is going to admit that there there are you know things in his life that he wasn't really you know the best when it comes to his environment there is a two of wands he's definitely he's definitely looking around him who's um surrounding him who are you know maybe the allies who are in terms you know the people that he can trust whether you know he can um make a plans affiliate with you know certain individuals is it good for him you know to do certain steps at the moment he is not really sure it's more about assessing and looking into his surroundings rather you know trusting i think i think donald really has a very limited amount of people that he can truly trust as the clarifier comes three of ones wow okay so assessment and then steps that's what he is doing that's what he is like as an individual he will not rush he is going you know to have first of all his views assessment maybe you know advisory like i say it is an environment so maybe he is really looking who advises he advises him maybe on political on on social and even when it comes to a personal relationships you know he's looking whether friends are friends and whether those friends are the real people who can help when he is in trouble or will he sees that maybe those people that he was let's say feeding now are biting his hand so interesting when it comes to the relationship we have a queen of swords queen of swords for me really speaks about a woman who is extremely rational and not compromising she is basically very firm when he when she's making a decision about certain events so 
we obviously seen in publicity the revelations what he um, apparently have done in the past sexually you know harass this individual woman um, I wonder if this is this particular woman or whether there are um, also someone else in his life maybe Melania his wife you know saying look you need now to be extremely careful you have to really think through you know what what will come out through you know investigations whether you are actually happy to continue your journey by putting yourself there again to become a president so maybe she is giving some sort of advice this advice is a very sort of um, I would say emotionally not attached, maybe not only um, Melania, the, the wife, but maybe a woman who is an advisor or even that could represent a legal um, individual um, who is basically saying, you know, be careful what is coming because there will be more, more compromising, you know, things coming into the daylight. Two of swords clarifying. So... Two of Swords really, you know, speaks for me, him being quite lost and indecisive with uh, he can't trust people. Um, and I really, really think that he's having a doubt about that woman. Um, so like I say, if it's not that particular individual who are coming up now in the media, there is either the legal advisor that he is having a question marks whether to trust or it's the wife, you know, who is giving um, an advice and saying, you know, what you need to do next is to be really clean and honest with the people. You really need to avoid um, another sort of compromising situation. This, the two of two of swords really indicates that he is, you know, lost. Donald is lost, you know, in terms, you know, the clarity whether he can trust that individual, whether he can trust um, that person's, you know, advice. When it comes to the career, we have King of Pentacles. And I really feel that it's him. The King of Pentacles really represents Taurus energy. Taurus energy, he has the MC, right? So he is the one who, is, who knows how to make the money. Nevertheless, whatever is going on, he knows how to make the coin. He knows how to profit, even if it is most challenging um, situations. He knows where to invest, who you know to, to trust when it comes to investment. And he really plays the long game. He is not the person who is going um, to invest in something very risky. I see that. Well, maybe in the past he was, you know, risk taker, but at this point, energetically, I really see that he's a very much slowly considering, you know, his options very slowly, who is going, you know, to put um, what is out there. You know, he, he, he really not going to put, you know, his money, his coin um, um, into something very risky. I think he's sort of, you know, seeing the investment, the career sort of prospects very differently. And, you know, also the King of Pentacles really indicates that he has enough of money. So he really doesn't even need any more to work. He has plenty. He is the one who is sitting on the throne. Nevertheless, whatever is being, you know, thrown at him, he's in a good position. King of Pentacles clarified by three of coins, collaborators, collaboration. <laughs> Someone who wants, you know, to join the forces with him. Someone who wants, you know, to benefit and profit from his coins. Um, I think he he will be very difficult when it comes, you know, trusting uh, external allies, um, people that he doesn't know. I think he is really, really very carefully um, assessing whether, you know, proposals are good or bad. Um, with the three of coins and this king of pentacles, I want to say that he might actually open a new business. He might come come up with um, seeing, you know, what is in the environment. I, I feel like maybe he will be opening or thinking to open like a legal help um, 
organization, some sort of what he's going through at the moment, he's going to put in a way that is going to make a money. So someone who is um, unlawfully, you know, or um, how to explain here, someone who, let's say, have been put in a very difficult position and seeking, you know, the best legal advice, he's going maybe to create a legal firm, a legal um, group, an institution, um, first of all, to combat his own challenges, but also later that can become his personal sort of choice in terms of doing the business when it comes to the legalities and, you know, um, lawsuits. That's what I'm seeing here. Now, when it comes to, you know, to his challenges, we have the lover's choices. Uh, but lovers normally, you know, when we have, I want, you know, to think whether he is thinking about, you know, those choices that he made in the past when it comes to the love. Um, let's pull the clarifier. Five of Swords. Yeah, choices in terms of which battle I should win, um, you know, what is worth to fight. The ch and this is coming into the challenge. He is unable, unable to distinguish when he needs to stop. That is his obstacle. That is his challenge. You know, why do you need to put yourself in a position that will compromise your your profile, why you are, you know, going against that, let's say, mainstream that really is not adding any value. So even if he wins something, you know, in general, I'm speaking, that costs him a lot, not just money, it costs his energy, you know, time is ticking. And sometimes I do believe, you know, the time is, you know, not in the favor when you reach a certain age. So I think he needs to find energetically a point where you can say, I'm not going to fight this battle. I am choosing, you know, to leave. I am choosing to walk away. This is not for me. That's what I, I see um, in the cards. That's that's very strong energy and the choices and decisions that he is making currently are very challenging um, when it comes to the peace in general for him overall message is that if you are unable to distinguish which fight which war to to fight whether this is yours or not that will impact your health in the long run, that impacts your career abilities um, to, to think clearly, to communicate clearly, to be understood in, in, the, in the best way. And um, I'm just looking again. I'll put a couple clarifiers from the fairy deck. Let's see. We have the Oakman. And the singer of healing. Be smart. That's the, the clarifies. Be smart in terms, you know, again, choosing your battles, you know, right. The singer of healing and the old man, it's like you're old enough to have your wisdom. You know, you're old enough to, to know whether you really need you know to push your boundaries whether you really need to go against that uh stream utilize your wisdom in a different way again select your battles carefully you know whether that is worth at all and the thing of healing is like a promising i would say energy that says you know things will work itself there will be um, that healing time, that peace, um, but be wise in terms with who you're entering, you know, the conflict. That's what I see for time being for um, Donald Trump. If you like, please share, subscribe. I, I love seeing, you know, that my network is going up and, you know, that subscribers leaving their comments. Nevertheless, 
positive, negative. Uh, I appreciate your opinion is very, very valued. Um, so continue doing so. If you would like a personal reading, uh, please get in touch. I will leave my um, details and uh, I wish you all the best and uh, I'll see you soon. Take care.